What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and I'm still sick. Even though I had to sleep like all of yesterday and today to make myself feel better. So I, I felt good enough to kind of do a video. So I go online and obviously the first thing that I'm looking at is my browser and I see YouTube Gaming pop up. And the question just got into my head, like, how successful is YouTube gaming at the, mo at the moment, you know? I mean, obviously, it was meant to be a competitor to Twitch, and it doesn't really have all the functionality that Twitch has right now, nor all the features, nor all the conveniences, and so on and so forth. So it seemed to me that YTG was sort of lacking, in a sense, and I wondered why YouTube decided, well, Google, YouTube, whatever the hell it may be, why they decided to launch the platform in its current state because it seems like it's a lot more bare bones than Twitch is. And, I, you know, obviously I was one of those people to say it's a failure, it's not going to go anywhere, it doesn't appease to the creators, etc., etc., until I thought about things from a different perspective and I kind of looked back at the situation and I realized to myself, oh shit, maybe this is actually part of a strategy that they have. So obviously I have my theories and I know you do to have your theories as well too. And I wanted to see where you dudes stood with it because everybody, a lot of people have been wondering. <laughs> a lot of people have been wondering about, um, well, not really actually, but um, YouTube gaming is definitely something that is confusing because it, it has a lot of restrictions in some sense with copyright. So it, it makes you wonder why they decided that that was a good idea to implement it. But I mean, whatever. We're going to be talking about it for a little bit today. Um, maybe roughly an hour so I can see where your thoughts are on this whole thing. Um, I got the comments going right now. I see all you dudes in there. Um, for any of the serious comments who actually want to discuss this, um, I'll definitely be interacting with you dudes. But for now, I want to give you my thoughts on this shit. So now, obviously, YouTube Gaming was announced uh, a few months ago. And everyone was hyped about it, of course. Well, maybe not everyone, but I was definitely one of them because I figured, hey, obviously Google sees that Twitch is doing really well with um, streaming games, and it's going to be a very valuable market for them to get their hand into at some point, and the live events aren't cutting it. So I'm hoping that with YouTube launching this YTG platform, that they'll be able to actually have a viable place for people to stream and to engage in gaming content since it's so massive on YouTube. And I was hyped about it because I figured, hey, at this point now, YouTube has way more resources than Twitch. And I mean, some people might think this isn't true for some strange reason, but it's true. It's absolutely true. Twitch has way less money than YouTube. <laughs> I mean, it's just the facts, though. Obviously, YouTube is a way more established platform. Um, it's been around for a lot longer, has way more resources, better servers. Everything about YouTube in terms of, you know, the spec sheet is better, but the interface is always where things come down to. And as we've seen from fucking Google+, uh, interface means a lot. But, um... But right now, when it comes to YTG, oh, oh wait, oh, excuse, sorry about that. Let me, I should probably put that on mute right now. But um, so obviously, I was thinking, okay, YouTube gaming has been announced, and obviously, Google's going to learn from their mistakes with you know the live platform, um, the live events platform rather, and they're going to make something that's really viable here. So. I was saying, since they have Twitch as an example, as a sort of a sort of a, a role model to look at to see what they do right and what they do wrong, because Twitch doesn't do everything correct. Let's just be honest here. I mean, they, they have their parts where they are they have some shortcomings as well too. But um, for the most part, Twitch gets the, pl the formula down packed. I was saying, okay, YouTube's gonna learn from this and they're gonna make something that's even better because observation is always the greatest tool in reconstructing or rebuilding anything, you know, anything that's successful, you mimic it in some senses, and you do well. But um, the platform launched, and it didn't really have anything <laughs> that Twitch was offering in terms of uh, c compatibility with, uh, with people transferring over and whatnot. And then I thought, like, afterwards, hey, man, what if them transferring over isn't necessarily the focus? Um, and now, I'm not sure how many of you dudes are paying attention in the chat right now, but, um, like, maybe the point of YouTube gaming right now isn't necessarily to bring people over because I mean it's relatively still very young in its infancy man um it's only been it hasn't even been a full month yet and I said in the, in the title in the description that it's been a full month but it hasn't really been a full month yet so let, let's go actually to the browser right now um you know just to have something on the screen so you guys can see what I'm comparing what I'm, what I'm talking to about this whole thing but but really it, it hasn't even been a full 31 days yet since YouTube gaming has launched so we have to understand that we're comparing a platform that's brand fucking new to something that's been around for a couple of years now so I guess it's somewhat of an unfair comparison and YTG I know for a fact that they will most likely have updates in the future there were some bugs that I had with the platform in the beginning like it would freeze on me randomly but um they iron those out for the most part but still it doesn't have that robustness that Twitch does and 
a lot of people are like I said are writing it off as a failure automatically which may not be the best thing to do now the one thing that I said from the beginning that would either help or destroy YouTube gaming is how often they come out with these updates to, to keep the platform alive and well and we've seen that consistent updates do help in some scenarios now obviously a content creation platform is way different from a video game, but um, Splatoon is a good example of that. The game is still fresh, it has a lot of updates on a regular basis, new levels, new guns, new modes, and it keeps it, it keeps it alive because there's always new stuff coming in, so whenever you log in, there's always something to surprise you. And I'm hoping and praying that YTG is going to take that same format. Now, in terms of how reliable and how frequent these updates have been happening, we can't measure something like that because the platform is brand fucking new. But um, in the future, like, there's got to be more features that are added to this thing. Like, for example, I mean, if I have Twitch here, you all know the format of Twitch and how it works out. Twitch has, like, ways you can see everyone that's streaming at the current moment, the, the most, you know, the most viewed stream at the current moment. And I'm not sure if YTG has features like that, which are as well established, if you know what I mean. Like, they have, obviously, over here on the side, featured channels. So I'm guessing here you can see who has the most, you know, viewers and whatnot. And, you know, you can kind of just keep up with, you know, the more focused streamers and that's cool that, that that's all well and good i think but the format on twitch does seem a little bit more uh well i don't know it, it says channels on twitch you click channels and it shows you everything that's there um i should probably pull up a browser window to um to actually show you the comparison but um it seems like as if YouTube gaming is lacking some features in that regard. Um, they do have the feature that you can favorite games, and so you can keep up with any gamers that are streaming that game at the current moment, which is a really cool feature. Um, it, and, and I feel like it's executed well. I do like the. I also do like the dark theme that YTG sports for the most part. And usually, if there's somebody streaming a game, then you would see um, live now as one of those tabs. But no one's fucking streaming Smash Brothers. Uh, I, I noticed Smash Brothers hasn't really been getting streamed too much on YTG. Um, I don't know if it's a fact of people not really wanting to stream here or more people just preferring Twitch or just for a fact that, uh, I don't know, it's not that popular on YouTube gaming. But I mean, I haven't really seen it available too much here. If we go to Minecraft, this will probably be available. Um, obviously, FIFA is available, as you can see here. So let's see, live right now. And you can see there's quite a few Minecraft youtubers that are streaming at the moment not too many viewers but um there are a lot of people that are live with it at the moment so that's all well and good and one thing we have to understand as well too is that when it comes to the amount of people that are streaming at one time it can really vary depending on the time of day and that's the same case with twitch and with youtube as well too um someone said uh twitch on a youtube stream you dirty dog <laughs> what the hell yeah, using kappa in the fucking youtube gaming stream but um but okay so now in terms of Okay, so we were talking about like features and things that make Twitch appealing and um, just ways to edit your stream. For the most part, for the most part though, it seems as if YouTube gaming has things down pat. Like I'm, I'm guessing, like I'm making a presumption when I'm saying that this is showing you the most viewed stream at the moment because that's something, okay, now it's a little bit different. Um, what the hell? Maybe, maybe the same people aren't streaming anymore. Yeah, that probably is what it is. Maybe the same people aren't streaming anymore, and that's why the people that were at the top changed. So if we go down... Yeah, okay, that's probably what it was, because I think Jack was just streaming, and he probably just stopped recently. So, okay. So there you go. When, it, when you go to, you know, what's viewed the most, you got it right there. So that's kind of useful, actually. Um, That was always there, but I didn't... I don't think it had... Like, I don't think it had that, you know, top streamer at the top all the time. It showed you the featured channels, but I don't think it had that. But um, anyways, okay. So with YTG now that we have like the features kind of out of the way, we kind of talked about that a little bit. Now it comes to who does this platform appeal to more at the current moment? And this is where I kind of thought a little bit deep about this because I was saying, okay, I mean, I'm an established content creator myself. Um, this is my income and I do this regularly and I rely on it. So I have different desires from a platform like this than somebody who's just starting their channel out as a lot of you guys may just be in that position and i feel like right now in this current state this platform serves the you know the the new guy way better than it serves like the seasoned vet like myself and i have a couple of reasons for this but um one thing that i do have to give props for ytg on is that for this little featured thing here i guess maybe this is because not too many people are on ytg at the moment but this little featured thing which shows you channels that are streaming at the moment 
it's shown a lot of smaller new guys out and helped their numbers immensely. There's some guys that I know myself as well, too, who have told me, yo, I love YouTube gaming because, you know, my, I was streaming the other day and I showed up right there on the front page and I had like 200 viewers in there. And 200 viewers was a lot if you're just starting out, man. And I got to say, I'm happy to hear that kind of a thing because, you know, one thing that everyone who's in a smaller position and even in a larger position like myself will say is that the hardest thing about the current YouTube community and Twitch as well is the fact that it's difficult to get noticed. And Twitch has this problem in a very extreme way because now to be featured on the front page of Twitch, you basically have to suck a million dicks at once. And it's a tough process to do. Like you have to know some people, got to rub shoulders. And like I said, a million dicks. It, it can be tough to be featured in that kind of a way. But on YTG, it's way more effective as you can just go, you know, browsing straight through what's streaming at the current moment and it'll show you whoever's streaming regardless of if they have 300 or 200 viewers or 13 viewers like um, Marty's Games right here. Um, then it also shows you Dan, the Diamond Minecart, you know, and this is a guy with 13 viewers at the moment being featured next to a video of somebody who has millions of subscribers. Props to YTG on that. So if you're just starting out and you really want to get a good jump on stuff, you want to get your content in the eyes of people, then YTG is a great place to start that because that's not going to happen on Twitch. Usually you got to click on the game that's being played and the people that are all the way at the bottom, they stay at the bottom. It's not really that viable for um, new people. So that's why I say this platform does serve the new guy a lot better. If you didn't know this information, now you do. Um, if your channel is just starting out, here's a great place to do it. Because look, look at me. My, this is my Etika World Network account. My account is a YouTuber right here. My channel is verified, managed, partnered, all that shit. And I'm being shown the little guys. And I like that because... It just pops up. It shows up right there on the stream. So you can just see exactly the action that's going on without you having to click into it. And if it interests you, if it gives you an erection, you just go in there, man. And I've had a lot of fun with um, smaller channels by going in there, seeing them streaming on the front page like this and being like, hey, what's up, guys? And they'd be like, oh, who's this guy? He's, he's got a ton of fucking subscribers. Oh, man. You know, I give them advice. You know, I tell them how much fun I'm having and shit. It's a fun experience overall, I feel. So I hope that this stays as a highlight of YouTube gaming in the future like even if it becomes a bigger platform it shows off the little guy it gives you random clips um and also you know just makes it known that hey there's somebody else streaming this game right now who doesn't have that many subs but you know depending on some kind of algorithm in the background even if they're small it makes their shit visible to the general public i love it and one thing as well too is that youtube right now not the gaming variant but um youtube in general if you have an account when you sign into YouTube, you're met with this page. And this page, it's not really necessarily a front page as if you were not signed into YouTube at all. So, I mean, right now, if we go to uh, Incognito tab and we go to YouTube, if you don't have an account or whatever, you sign in, or excuse me, how do you sign in if you don't have an account? If you don't have an account at all and you go to YouTube, you're greeted with the front page of YouTube, which shows you a bunch of random content, usually all oversaturated mainstream stuff, uh, music and whatnot. It shows you basically a ton of stuff right there for you. And um, even though this isn't necessarily showing off the little guy, it shows you a bunch of content regardless from a bunch of people. And that can be considered the same thing as YouTube gaming right here. The only problem is that when you sign into YouTube on a regular basis, rather than showing you that front page that shows you a plethora of different kinds of content that's hot at the moment, you just get greeted with the stuff that you're interested in, your subscriptions and whatnot. And I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing, but it makes it so there's no way to really show you too much new stuff interactively. Oh, and that's, that's another thing that I, I like about it, just the fact that you can see these streams playing right away. So the little guy, his shit gets shown to you right there on the front page, even if you're signed in and you're not like incognito or whatever. And then the clip starts playing as well, too. I feel like they probably had a lot of R&D put into this to be able to develop a feature like this. Because to be honest with you, man, I think it's fucking ingenious. Like, that's why I can't hate this platform right now in its current state, because it does so many things well. Um, Joshua Valer says, hey, hey, Erica, do you plan on using YouTube gaming or are you uninterested? Now, Joshua, you bring up a goddamn good point, man, because now I'm going to talk about why I feel YouTube gaming doesn't really help out the more established content creator like myself. I ain't going to sit here and claim I'm some fucking PewDiePie or I'm some fucking uh, MatPat game theory motherfucker. Like, obviously not. My numbers are nowhere near as large and my channel, my retention, my audience, nowhere near as big. But I mean, I still feel like anybody who's established like myself or any other streamer per se, 
this platform doesn't help them as much as it helps out the little guy. Now, obviously, with people like me, exposure isn't as big of an issue. I mean, it still is, to be honest with you, but it's not as much of a... Of a of a ravenous desire as it would be for the little guy trying to make his way up to the top. Um, me, exposure is one thing, but um, if you're doing this as a job, oh, what the fuck? Nigga has a lightsaber, dog? Oh shit. But um, if you're doing this as a job, as a career, your concerns tend to vary a little bit. Now, obviously, you know, we can get sellout boys in the chat right now, but um, when you're doing this as a job, you have to look at it from two different angles. Now, the first one, obviously, do I like it? Am I passionate about it? Can I see myself having fun with this? Um, that's the first angle you look at it from. And then the second angle, is this going to be able to help me stay sustainable and to pay my bills and to keep food on my table? That's the other. What the fuck is going on here? What the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, they, so that, those are that's the second perspective that's shown there. And you know, the little guy may or may not have that second um, viewpoint for it, but um, I do, and a lot of other content creators do. Some more than others, because if you're PewDiePie and you're streaming on here, then you obviously you don't care about how you know you can sustain your bills or whatever as much, because you're just doing it for shits and giggles, because you have millions in the bank already. But I mean, for me, it's not exactly that scenario. So. I look at it from two ways. Now, these are the two ways that most of the content creators that are on Twitch right now are saying this is not viable because right now there's currently a lot of things that make YouTube not attractive for people like me. The first thing, and um, this one is going to be a big one, the comments are totally uncontrollable right now. They're disjointed and they don't mend together and there's no flushed out experience to make the comment section worth it. And this is something that applies a lot to bigger YouTubers and Twitch streamers like myself because Twitch already has a relatively good way to control the comment. Well, no, 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 the comments are still crazy on Twitch. But, I mean, I don't think you can control that. Like, that's the fucking internet. Like, people are saying, oh, Twitch comments are so crazy. And they're like, I mean, they have good moderation tools for the comments. But um, the comments themselves are pretty wild. But I say, why? Are you really complaining about the internet being the fucking internet? It's the fucking internet, dog. Like, what do you expect? People are going to fucking... Look, look at my comments comments right now how many fucking dicks have flown by in that little chat bar underneath there in the time that we've been talking about this you're really going to complain about the comments quality N -n 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 nah dog that that's fucking stupid you're never going to change that that's the fucking internet that's the way it works but i mean you twitch has better moderation tools they have bots now and um in terms of their moderation like for example if i show you guys um i'm going to go to the comments right now so take a look at the comments here um my mouse is going to be showing on them you can see them right so if i go right here let's see this guy um mike ronicle he had a guy i know it's not potentially related to what you're talking about for 3ds let's plays what kind of capture card are you using and how much did it cost you i'm using oh for 3ds i'm using uh Katsu Kitty. Um, it cost $500, but I bought it with the 3DS included, so that's why it was so much money. Um, so if I go to this guy's comment right now, these are the moderation tools that I have. So remove, report, um, report message, block user, put him in timeout, and set user as a moderator. And those are okay, I guess, for, you know, entry-level moderation, but it lacks a lot of, um, it, it lacks a lot of... The, the the finer detail tweaks that make moderation of the chat a little bit better because what the fuck yo this dude's mods holy shit what's going on here yo but i mean <laughs> but yeah you saw those options to be able to that i had on someone's name and then they're, they're, they're not as good as twitches would be i mean they have the basic commands down but now like if i want to example and activate slow mode there's no such thing as slow mode on youtube gaming and that's a big one for content creators because it basically means that your chat's going to be going a million miles a minute some people don't like that i like that some people don't so i mean that's their preference that's the general preference though i think like a lot of people don't like that shit so i mean they have to do something about it, which I'm sure they will, but the fact that it launched without a slow mode kind of does suck. Um, there's no bots to really moderate the chat in on the go. YouTube does have an inbuilt um, chat moderation tool that does help with spam messages and whatnot, but it doesn't have anywhere near the universe of customization, details, and whatnot that Twitch does, you know, Nightbot, Mootbot, etc., etc. So those are some things that it doesn't have that make it not appealing to the big content creator um for me that's not as big of an issue on my end um the next thing that also isn't as big of an issue on my end and this is the the main thing that a lot of content creators are saying makes youtube gaming bad for them is that there is no subscription model no paid based model i mean you can still get donations 
through YTG, but you would have to use something else and it wouldn't be like an official service. You would have to use like um, Twitch alerts, which is what I do with YTG when I'm accepting donations. No, no donations are being accepted now because, you know, we're, we're in a discussion right now. Um, but yeah, YTG doesn't have a paid subscription model, which makes it more of like like i said i don't use paid subscriptions on twitch right now because i'm not partnered um i might look into doing that in the future if my cpm on youtube keeps going down because it's like you know like two months I, I made most views i ever did and i made the less money for those views i ever did it was crazy um so i might just be going into um looking into paid subscription models for twitch in the future but um as of right right now i don't really care about it too much it means nothing to me it means the world to everyone else and this is somewhere where i'm in a unique position because i mean obviously i was saying to my hey i'm making more views on youtube i'm not gonna have to care too much about twitch subscriptions because you know youtube is where I, my income is from now things are different but i mean a lot of people rely on those subscriptions to be able to pay their bills and to keep that food out there so holy shit so it's a big negative that those subscriptions those pay subscriptions aren't there is ytg planning on bringing them in the future maybe but we don't know for a fact, and they've said nothing about it up till now. So it's difficult for us to try to pinpoint what their thinking was on that. But like I said, maybe their focus isn't necessarily to make those guys from Twitch come over or to convert people. YTG, their main strategy right now has been paying or negotiating rather with these big ass YouTubers and trying to get them to stream on the platform regularly. We just saw Jack Septic Guy streaming on YouTube gaming. He's never streamed too much anywhere else. We've seen other people streaming like Matt Pat from Game Theory and uh, a lot of other big ass channels too. And I feel like what YouTube's thought process is with this is that they're trying to establish a massive viewership with the audience that they currently have on Twitch. They're not even concerned with you coming from Twitch or converting from Twitch because YouTube says we have a big enough audience on our own where all we got to do is have these big guys stream every now and then and we'll have a fucking audience big enough on our own without even these Twitch guys coming through. We'll have content creators on our own. They're really trying to flush out their own ecosystem rather than taking the one from Twitch because here's what the logic is. Rather than focusing on taking people away, focus on making your platform something that makes them come to you. So... Yeah, right now, it seems like in its infancy, YTG is trying its best to establish itself and to make itself look sexy. So that way, rather than doing work to make those guys come to it right away, they'll want to come to it because they're like, oh, wow, yeah, look at the audience that YTG has already. The only thing that's holding people from saying that they want to come over to YTG is the lack of features. And then the third final thing that we're going to talk about, the fucking copyright. Holy shit. Now, I've not streamed on YTG myself because it well you want me to do you want me to tell you why i don't stream on ytg myself it's because wait wait hold on wait a minute you dudes can't hear me well we, well well hopefully you can um let me see let me see let me see um okay your stream is lagging really um if it's lagging turn the quality down because that's probably what the situation is go to your little ratchet bar here and set the quality to like 480 or something because the stream is at a really high bit rate. So if it is lagging, then uh, yeah, you can. Uh, if someone says they can't hear me? Really now? Hello? 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 Really? Let me see. Let me see. Someone says I can't hear you. Really? I'm muted? Why am I muted? That's so weird. Mike isn't muted. No, it's, it's good. Give me a second. Let me just make sure because I'm going to see it on my end. I don't know what's going on here. Someone says, I can't hear you. Really? I'm muted? Why am I muted? No, it seems like it's good. All right, I'm probably just getting trolled. <laughs> uh, good shit. Good shit. Yeah, you got me. I got to give you props on that one, man. Sometimes you dudes get the shit out of me. I can I can jig with that. But anyways... um. Now, when, it, when I was talking about YouTube gaming, the, the third biggest thing that's, I guess, is holding people back like right now. Um, so it, it appeals more for the little guy. It doesn't really give any features for us. And then on top of it all, the way YouTube handles copyright is probably going to make this one of the most difficult platforms to jump on top of. Because, you know, there's a lot of details with the way copyright is done on YouTube. You we all know of the notorious content ID system, which basically is a fucking robot with the, with, the, um, with the omnipotence of God that goes around. And if it sees something that it don't like, it fucking destroys it right away. That now, that, now that's some scary shit right there. And obviously, I was thinking to myself, like when I was hyping YouTube gaming up in the past, I was saying to myself, holy shit, 
wait a minute, this means that YouTube is going to be open-minded about copyright, right? And they're going to ensure that copyright and the content ID doesn't fucking destroy someone in the middle of their stream because obviously that would be impractical, right? Because they're playing games. They're going to figure something out for this. But no, they did not. Um, now, I never experienced it myself because I don't stream myself. But there's people that have been saying that YouTube gaming, if you're streaming a game that's copyrighted, they will automatically take the shit down after a few seconds from sending a notification to your dashboard and saying, hey, you're playing some copyrighted shit. If you don't stop playing this shit, we're going to shut you down. And it's been the case with people playing games that are like mostly on Nintendo's end because Nintendo's fucking ignorant when it comes to the way they handle their content on YouTube. And um, there's been people that have confirmed this in a lot of other ways, too. I've talked to Shofu about it a little bit. He's told me that there's other people that have been experiencing this before, um, a few weeks ago. And there have been posts on Twitter of uh, people showing the ridiculousness that they've encountered when trying to stream on YTG. It's fucking hilarious. And I, I figured to myself, and the reason why I got excited is because I thought that wouldn't be a case. But um, that basically kills the deal for a lot of people because copyright handling on Twitch and YTG, this is amazing visual right now, copyright handling on Twitch and YTG is done so differently, whereas if there's copyrighted material on, you know, Twitch, they're going to basically mute the stream afterwards in the um, remaining audio file, but if it's on YTG, they take the fucking stream down as it's going, if you're playing a fucking song for over 10 seconds, that's some scary shit, and I don't know what in God's name I don't know what in God's name Rob was thinking when he implemented that. I mean, the content ID system, I understand we live in a digital new world now and people want to have their intellectual properties protected. I get it to an extent. I mean, I still don't understand why it's so constricting on YouTube because obviously, you know, there's a lot of free promotion, but I get it. The, the investors want their shit protected. But God almighty, why do you have to enact it in such an aggressive way? Especially considering it's a platform where you're supposed to play games actively. So they discourage people from playing certain games and doing certain things on YTG because you get your channel fucking hit with a strike after a takedown. And, you know, I can't confirm all this on my own accord, but there's other people out there. Um, I'll find some sources later on and link them in Twitter so you know for a fact I'm not just saying this to, you know, make it seem negative and whatnot. But the copyright system has to be addressed and something has to be done in regards of making it more user friendly, not as aggressive, and maybe implementing something like Twitch has. Whereas if there's a song being played that it fucking just mutes the stream or may disables the stream after the fact, but to really shit on someone's stream as it's going is bad. Because what about the people that do this as a job? It's, it's going to be really negative for them. Now, someone like me, even if I decided to stream on YouTube Gaming right now, that wouldn't happen to me because my channel is partnered and it's managed. And when you have a managed YouTube channel like mine, which is a very rare status to get, by the way, there are people with millions of subs who don't get managed status. But I have managed status because, you know, Broadbent and I, we're real good bed buddies right now. So um, they hit me with managed status, which means that any game that I play, um, even if it has copyright sensors up the fucking wazoo, if I play that game, YouTube isn't going to automatically shut my stream down or anything. And I have protection in contracts with most of these gaming companies. So that way I don't get my ass struck down in any way possible. Unless somebody is really malicious and someone actually goes in there and says, fuck this nigga and shuts my shit down that way. Remember Capcom. They came from my black ass after I talked about Street Fighter V leaks. And, you know, with negotiations brought... I mean, obviously Capcom was in the wrong because, I mean... Like, and this is something that I got to explain too, man, because um, Capcom is obviously trying to censor press, and which is something that's illegal here in the United States. They tried to do so anyways, and they knew they probably fucked up. So broadband, they let them know, hey, you're fucking with our content creator. Get the fuck off of his dick. And Capcom, they got off my dick. But I mean, that kind of stuff could potentially be happening with YTG in the future, and it just totally kills the purpose of this platform. I mean, I really want to hope that YouTube changes this in the future, but I really can't see them doing so, because they're so infatuated with content ID in order to try to make themselves look like they're the next TV, and that I, I don't think they're going to really make any compromises in that way, unless people outright boycott the system, or just totally not use it because of copyright. So I mean, it means a lot for people like me. It doesn't mean too much for the little guy, because he has nothing to lose, really. He's going in there with a channel that barely has anything for the most part. Some people do, some people don't, and so if his shit gets struck down, it, it matters a lot, but I mean, he can just rebuild. But for people like me, my shit gets shut down, and uh, I'm living in the streets, man. I'm losing everything that you're looking at right now. So, yeah, copyright system needs to be handled way differently on YTG to make it a more appealing platform. I guarantee you, if they didn't have that 
takedown bullshit from the dashboard, then there would probably be 25% more users on the platform. That's a big assumption to make. I have no numbers to back it up, but God damn it, the platform, the content ID, look at the numbers, look at the people complaining about it, and you could agree with me on this whole thing. Now, now that's basically my overall thoughts on YTG right now. It's probably not going to get updated that frequently. This is an assumption. I may look stupid in the future. This thing could be getting a huge update tomorrow. It could be implementing a paid subscription model tomorrow. But for the most part, man, it's like, oh, wait, Joshua says, give a shout out to your lolly loving Asian boy. My man, CJ. Um, he's forcing me to spam this. What the fuck? <laughs> um, okay, we got some comments here, man. But um, yeah, I'll read the comments after the fact. But um, what the fuck? Yo, YTG, man. Goddamn. But um, yeah, in its current state, YTG, it needs, it needs to be able to make things appealing for both sides. But that's where the difficulty comes in. Make it, big, make it really sweet for the big guy, and uh, the little guy ain't going to get no shine. And if you make it really sweet for the little guy, the big guy ain't going to take it seriously. Right now, YouTube gaming is not an alternative to Twitch because there's no way in hell for you to maintain an income or sustain your life if you are somebody that streams professionally. So it's not going to see those big guys there. But um, it's hoping that it's going to build an audience of little guys and um, dudes that take this relatively serious, depending on how many of those big, big YouTubers are actually streaming actively on the platform. So overall, we got to give it some more time. Like I said in the beginning of this whole thing, it's so young and there's so much potential for this to become something greater than what it is right now. But we got to give it the time and we, we it has to get updates it has to get regular updates youtube itself gets updates like what once every six months um it's really sad only recently did youtube bring back the ability to have the verified check mark in the comment section if you're of your own videos that is fucking ridiculous and i don't understand why youtube takes so long can you can you dudes in the comments explain to me why the fuck does youtube take so long to implement updates i mean the last update that we got from YouTube was making the viewer bar clear and, you know, it looks a lot more minimalist. It's cool, but it took so long for things like that to come out. And YouTube waits months on end easily before it rolls out anything like that to be able to upgrade the user experience. YTG can't follow the same format. And if it does, then it's going to not be taken seriously because right now, like YTG, it, it's basically on a timer, right? And even though it hasn't run out yet, it's on a timer where basically it has to make a strong enough impression within this amount of time or else it's not going to be taken taken seriously from that point forward and um already it had a bad start i feel but i mean the platform has to have some seriousness added to it and after a month we could very well be seeing this now the month anniversary or the month anniversary is going to be on the 26th because it was started on the 26th of august and maybe some of these updates might actually be coming to it but they can't be taking those six months they can't be six months passing and there's no paid subscription model they they, they, they can't this can't be yo there can't be six months past and no better comment management system there can't be six months past and no alert system like uh, twitch alerts or something of equal properties on youtube gaming these things can't wait that long man maybe two months at maximum but you go six months without those things coming out and there's going to be a problem because no one's going to take ytg seriously at all anymore and when they do come out people are already you know okay whatever like that's the way google plus went down right um and started off was kind of confusing aggressive and it didn't go anywhere and it never did because no one took it seriously by the time google plus decided to update itself to make itself more concise clear and easy to use and friendly for the people like you and i by the time that happened no one gave a shit about google plus and everyone was like ew google fucking plus is disgusting get it away from me and um that's for multiple reasons as well too but i mean you, you can't wait too long on these things you got to strike while the iron is hot take some examples from splatoon which i know content creation system and a video game are totally different things but i mean constant updates help out in almost every single platform of modern day life um phones that get constant updates are always better than phones that don't and we need to have these things constantly improved and these features constantly added and there's just too much that's lacking on ytg right now to make it viable for certain groups and um you need those groups in the future in order to keep your platform alive and well i mean because well, I mean, it's YouTube. It can keep itself alive without doing shit. But I mean, if they want to make something successful that's thriving, that will be able to be a viable competitor to Twitch, then you got to start implementing these things soon. And that's that's my argument about this whole thing. But um, OK, let me see. So um, in terms of if I think YouTube gaming is good or not right now in its current state, it's good for some, not good for others. And that's the way I'm going to leave it for me. 
nah, it's not really that good at all. Um, my only incentive to post on YouTube Gaming is to just have my audience view my stuff from my platform. That's literally it. And um, when you consider all the things that I go to Twitch for, better audience interaction, um, better d handling of a donation system, what else does Twitch have? Um, well, Twitch doesn't really have the same quality. YouTube gaming quality is definitely higher because it has better servers. That's another thing. Um, those, like, like, I mean, and, and that's the thing. Twitch doesn't do much for me either. So both of those platforms, in comparison to me, don't really do that, that much, man. I mean, obviously, Twitch, I prefer it a little bit right now. And also, another thing that makes me not want to use YouTube gaming, what I use for streaming, as what I'm using right now, is the YouTube live events. Those are way more beneficial to me. But, um... And the reason why YouTube live events are more beneficial for me is because, like, you guys are watching this stream right now, right? You're in the chat and you're commenting. Every single one of your comments, every single one of your views, and every single minute that you stay in this stream with me gets applied to the video that gets posted on YouTube after. So, for instance, if we had overall throughout the stream 10,000 viewers, or, you know, no, not even 10,000 viewers, there's 10,000 clicks on this video. When it gets uploaded to YouTube afterwards as a VOD, that's also going to have 10,000 views. It's going to have every single comment that you're making right now applied to the video. All the viewer time that you're watching this video right now, it all gets applied to that video after the fact for the audience retention and whatnot. And it makes that video that gets posted to YouTube after the fact a fucking monster when it, and it comes to the stats. So that video becomes all the way at the top of the list. If you search YouTube Gaming, this video is probably going to pop up after the fact right there on the top front page. And that's the main reason why I stick with YouTube right now, the live events. YouTube Gaming, that doesn't happen. If you do a video on YouTube Gaming using this, the new live dashboard, and not the live events, because there's two. As you can see right now, there's a live dashboard, and then there's the live events. These are two totally different things. If you stream using the YouTube Gaming um, live dashboard, whatever, any video that gets posted to YouTube after, so if I did this on here rather than the live events, it wouldn't have any of those stats that I'm talking about. It wouldn't have your viewership, your comments, or any of that stuff apply. It'll just be some long fucking 40 minute video with no stats to boost it up to make it hot. And um, that that would be bad because obviously 40 minutes, who's gonna watch through all that? It won't have the retention numbers, it potentially could get burned out. So I mean, through events, this is where I stream from. And to me, it's a lot more convenient. It's a lot better in a lot of ways. and. It's more beneficial for me. Like, I don't give a fuck too much about the subscription paid models right now. Maybe in the future I will. I don't give a damn about that that much. That's why I'm not on Twitch. The money from that, who cares? I don't really care too much about the better servers per se. Because right now, Twitch quality is still great. And their servers are improving steadily. The quality on both of them, you can achieve really good looking um, streams. You know, regardless. So, I mean, that's in the air. Um, and the improved comments on Twitch, they're improved. But not that much. Like, I still feel as if I can interact with you dudes easily on YouTube Gaming as well as Twitch. And right now, I feel like the comments on YouTube Gaming, in terms of aesthetics, are actually a little bit better because you have your icons there. So sometimes if I don't know a user by their name and I know them only by their icon, then I can see the icon pop up and be like, oh yeah, I know that guy. What's up, man? So I mean, to be honest, right now, both of these platforms to me are meh. They're okay, but they're meh. I use them both in certain ways because I have to, because I gotta be streaming somewhere. But for the most part, none of them are the thing that's gonna make me say, yeah, stream here only. But I mean, that can change in the future. And right now, the only thing that's looking like it's probably gonna be able to potentially change in the future to make me a dedicated user for it is YouTube Gaming. If they're consistent with their updates, they fix that ridiculous copyright ID system, and they implement a lot of the features that us, you know, seasoned, content creators need to keep our stuff alive and well and to keep us having fun as well too um now that's my opinion on ytg let me know in the comments what you think i'm about to talk to the motherfucking comments right now actually so um let's shift the focus on you dudes you got the mic let's see what the hell you're saying so um let me see are you going to use youtube gaming then probably not right now um there's just not enough for me that's like if it was able to take all the features and all the numbers that I have from the stream itself and apply them to the video, then I would be using it. But I, I'm not using it right now because live events, they give all the numbers to the video after YouTube gaming doesn't. Um, let me see here. Someone had an interesting looking comment there. So, Etika, in my personal opinion, I think YouTube gaming is the cause of 9-11 and the moon is a hoax. It's clear to me that millions that on the moon is just CGI. Despite that, YouTube gaming is okay. That's a good... Okay. Oh, we got Nintendo. My man uh, Hank from Nintendo in here. Um, honestly, YouTube gaming seems like a bust. I used to stream every day during the summer 
and the stream now feature from July is exactly the same post YouTube gaming launch. That's another thing that you that's another good point, Hank. It's the same shit that they showcased before. And and it's like they released it and they said, Yeah, YouTube gaming. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is the fucking beta. It's the same thing. Hilarious, man. Um, let me see. More comments, man. Um, Riley Dahl. I think YouTube gaming is good overall, but it was a bit too overhyped. I agree with you. I think it will grow and become almost as popular as Twitch. The only thing holding YouTube gaming back is copyright. That's a that's something that we can all agree with, dude. Um, Simmons says, Etika, I have a really important question. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Uh, I don't know, man. I, I guess I'm a habitual liar. Um, let me see. We got, I think we got Mike's Monster Gaming in this bitch. You see, this is why I like YouTube gaming. Well, YouTube's live events stream. Like, because these, this is the live, what you're looking at right now in terms of the comments, these are live event comments. What we're about to show you right now, now this is YouTube gaming comments. So if we go to this dude's stream that we've been looking at here, this is his fucking, these are the comments on YouTube gaming. And I don't know if I like him too much, man. Can you pop him out? You can pop them out now. So this wasn't a feature that was there before. I might actually use YouTube gaming comments now because you can see them like this. This didn't exist before. So it's getting small, tiny, little, itty-bitty updates on a regular basis to do little things like this. <laughs> Fucking props, YTG. I just hope the shit continues for those more robust features. Let's hope they keep on this path because this didn't exist before. Big props to them, man. So you can make it. And just like that. And um, I don't know. Do I prefer the white on black or the black on white? Well, uh, I prefer black on white. But I mean, <laughs> I'm being a fucking idiot. But um, yeah, it, it's cool to see that they implemented that. That's really fucking nifty. Um, real sweet, dude. Makes it a lot easier to get your comments. I might actually do that, guys. I'm not even fucking joking with you. I might actually do that shit. Um, but oh, wait, oh, I missed out on fucking Mike's comment. Um. Let me see. So, what's good, Etika? I use YouTube Gaming, and as a small channel, I have significantly improved, going from 190 to 270 subs. I steadily rise after every stream, and I'm able to stream Nintendo games with no issue. Really now? Well, this goes back to what I talked to earlier in the stream, that YouTube Gaming does help the smaller guys out. And, like, um, there's a couple of people I know, a guy named Steven, who um, does YouTube streams as well, too. He's good friends with Mike. And he said, yeah, my numbers have been going up really good since YouTube Gaming came out because of the featured thing, you know? It shows you right there on the front page. I'm happy to fucking hear that, dude. And um, you're not having issues with copyright either while streaming Nintendo games? That's a fucking plus, too. Maybe YouTube Gaming fixed their shit already. Maybe they fixed that whole copyright ID bug bullshit. And I'm hoping that's the case. Um, the spammers really need to go. What do you think of all these spammers and the ability to ban and um, time out? Do you think they can improve the chat? Yeah, definitely, man. Um... They have to make it easier to access as well, too. Um, I'm, because, you know, sometimes when you look into the chat, you click on something, it flies up. I mean, they got to make it so that it sticks around. But, I mean, that, that, to me, that's not that big of a deal. They can easily fix that shit. Um, someone says, stop ignoring leaked comments. Bitch, I, what the fuck are you talking about, bitch? I'm ignoring shit? <laughs> what do you mean? Nigga, you see how many comments are flying past you? You think you expect me to read everything? <laughs> Nigga, no. I can try, but there ain't eight editors reading comments here. There's one nigga, one nigga looking at everything. You got to give me some, some leeway here, man. Um, let me see. Um, very important question. Where the hell did you get that fine-ass hat? My girl from GameStop got it. Etika, please hear me. Nintendo was really good at making YouTube game. Really, Nintendo was really good at making YouTube gaming good, but also gives Twitch a benefit. Really? Um, if there's no more improvements to YouTube gaming, then it's a bust. It needs moderation and be more streamer-friendly. If that's what streamers rely on for money exactly it's got to be way more engaging and uh well not engaging but it's got to be way more comfortable to use for the people that live off the ship um says Erica, live stream boku no pico you're trying to trick me bro um someone says do you think the service could be improved they figured out how to make direct apps to implement the service hmm? there is an app though there is an app yeah there's a youtube gaming app on the phone i actually like the phone app a lot but um that's just me. Some people think it's buggy, but I like the app a lot. I haven't had too much trouble with it. I don't use it too much, though. I'll be honest with you. But um, anyways, uh, more comments. Don't play Xenoblade Chronicles X. I won't. My girlfriend is. Um, very important question. Do you watch Steven Universe? No, I do not. Um, did you see the Shovel Knight and Smash leak? Of course I did. It's confirmed fake. Um, I was sick, though, so I couldn't cover it, man. I'm fucking sick. I, I, I was sick yesterday. Oh, I was fucked up yesterday. I was, I was screwed up yesterday, man. Um... Someone says, uh, check out Red's channel. He said there's a leak for Smash on his video. 
do it. I'll check it out later on. Why is Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman wearing a squid hat? I don't know. Um, let me see. Oh, whoops. More comments. Okay, let me let me see here. I'm frightened of new things. I haven't really tried it out because I'm so familiar with Twitch. I understand where you're coming from, dude. Um, let me see. Etika, my boy, will you ever stream Smash Brothers for Wii U on YouTube Gaming or Twitch? Um, I will. Like, I've been getting relatively better at the game. Um, I now know how to be reverse really well. So we'll see. We'll see exactly what happens. Um, let me see here. Um, hey, Etika, I have a really important question. Can you sing Let It Go for us, please? I don't even know how the song goes. I never watched Frozen. Don't kill me. Um, Etika, search up the Lemon Party Smash Brothers League. Hell no, nigga. Um, you think I'm fucking stupid, nigga? Um, Etika, how do you stream live gaming? I'm... Making a brand... What? I'm sorry, man. That comment fucking confused me. Um, I think YouTube gaming is great, but there's a bit of bugs they need to fix. But overall, it's great. It just needs to have maybe a better template. I like the dark colors, but yeah, it could use a bit more organization. They can keep this. Keep the fucking big... Keep this thing that showcases the channels in the preview. But maybe they can change this up a little bit. I don't know. Um, more comments. Etika has a girlfriend? Shit. Yeah, of course I do. Um, you guys are retarded for thinking the leak is real. Yeah, really. Um, I meant to say apps like consoles or PC. Like, oh yeah, isn't there like a YouTube gaming app for the PS4 coming out soon? Very important question. How can I expand my YouTube channel? Will live streaming expand my channel? If you live stream on YouTube gaming right now, you will. Guaranteed. Do it. Just do it! <laughs> um, Etika, you're popular in Canada too? Oh shit. My, my moose niggas. My maple niggas. Let's go. Um... Let me see here. Uh, I wish there was an easier way to do this. You see, this is where I'm going to probably use that YouTube gaming little pop-out thing. Because right now, I'm struggling with this live event one right now. Um, let me see. Someone says, I don't think YouTube gaming... Um, Derek Villano... Derek, whatever. Um, I don't think YouTube gaming will be getting big anytime soon. Twitch is already having big events being broadcasted on their site, such as Evo and Apex. There would be no point to switch over. You have a good... Uh, you know... It'll take time. If they do really plan on beating Twitch out, they're going to need a whole lot of time and a whole lot of consistency in order to make YTG a, an appealing platform. And one way to make it appealing is to have a massive audience that watches streams all the time. They have to hit that on the head. That's asking for a lot. Let me see. What does this say? Um, YouTube gaming is like the little brother that sees his big brother doing something cool and then says, I can do that too, but forgets how to actually make it like his big brother does. That's a really good point. Um, my birthday was yesterday. Can I get a happy birthday from Senpai? Happy birthday to Harry Hodge. Do you like Melee? Yeah, I do. I like watching it. Um, Etika, can we get a match sometimes? Um, depending on the stream in the future. Etika, thanks for answering my question. We're big friends. Um, pay my channel a visit. Focus mainly on gaming at the moment. It's just about discussions. Um, I'm really picky with what I watch. Um, let me see. What do you think? Oh. Let me see. I made this comment long so Etika would watch it, but nigga, react to Hisoka Gone team. Um, that's Counter Center, right? Um, let me see. Did you see Cynthia Bunny's nudes? Oh, nigga, I saw them nudes, nigga. I saw them nudes, nigga. Yo, that shit. Yo. I saw them nudes, nigga. I saw them shits. <laughs> um, let me see. Um, let me see how to make a game popular. Um, blah, blah, blah. When a person streams a game on YouTube plus exploit and a capture card, the audio doesn't feel right. It lags sometimes by PK Sparks and the Super Mario Maker. Although, also the donation for YouTube is fine. Um, that could be depending on if he adds latency to his um, capture or not. But um, you watch PK Sparks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, let me see here. Go to Red's channel right now. I'll go to it later on. Um, Etika, hopefully I get your attention since you skipped my comment twice. I skip a lot of comments, man. Why do people act so entitled as if I'm supposed to read their comment guaranteed? You see how many comments there are? I, I can't read all your comments. That's not a possibility for me anymore right now on the go. I can read them after, but I can't, I can't promise I can read your comment right away. But um, can you play Smash for subs now? Maybe? No. And then the comment he asked is, no, like, that's, I'm not doing that right now. Um, Etika, I have a channel with 30 subs. Will YouTube Gaming improve it? I think so. Oh, Mikasa Ackerman. Maybe you're the one that's been around for a while. Um, let me see. Etika, come to the UK. You got for Windows 10 finally. Yeah, it's okay. Um, but okay, man. Will Pokemon ever return to your channel? Um, potentially in the future. 
Um, I don't like YouTube gaming, etiquette, what happened to Wi-Fi battles. I don't like Pokemon too much anymore. Um, I think Smash characters will be too... Uh, uh, let me see, let me see. Um, Etika, show us your waifu in the bed on X Hamster. <laughs> um, yo, Etika, any ideas... What? Yo, Etika, any ideas on what? Any ideas on how to make my channel better? It's not on here, but a different channel. Still, any ideas? Um... Yo, man, that's such a fucking vague question. I can't even begin to comment. There's so much to take into account with making a channel successful, man. Um, YouTube is better than Twitter. Oh, oh, we got some good comments up there. Hey, Etika, the YouTube gaming would have to have a big audience and many popular streamers, YouTubers, and has to get the viewers' attention, not just be there as YouTube gaming. Yeah, that's another thing. It feels way too separate. Like, if I go to regular YouTube right here, where the fuck is YouTube gaming? Where the fuck is it? How do I, how do I access YouTube gaming? I hear, I hear about it all the time. Where the fuck can I find it? Is it here? I don't know where it is. I can't find it. That's, that's the problem. Where's the fucking interlacing of YouTube and YouTube gaming? I thought there were going to be two separate entities united in harmony. That clearly ain't the case. Um, someone says I'm using YouTube gaming app right now. Well, let me know what your experience is like, dude. Um, what do you think? Let me see. Can't pay the bills, but a nigga can buy a fucking $400 gaming chair. Laugh my ass off. Uh, well, first off, my friend, you clearly have not been here for too long. Someone bought me this chair back when I lived in um, my girlfriend's parents' house a while ago. And um, it was a guy in the military. He bought me the chair. I haven't heard from him, man. Um, Edwin, I hope he's all right. But, um, yeah, this guy, he bought me the chair way back when. I'm not going to buy that LEDX racer. I just thought it would be interesting to cover it because back then I was having, like, back problems and shit. And, you know, they kind of, for the most part, went away thanks to this shit. Um, let me see here. What happened to Pokemon Etika version? Um, I don't know. I'm probably going to pick it up later on. Uh, I feel that Twitch is a lot. Oh, oh, oh yeah, personal issue. I went through a fucking, you, I went through a renaissance of my own brain, um, which made me kind of realize, you know, what I did and didn't value with YouTube. So, I mean, you know, understand that I went through something really major within the last three months, four months, five months, six months. You got to give me some leeway, man. Um, okay. And it seems like for the most part, we pretty much have all of everyone's concerns down. Um, you guys got to let me know in the comments if you're watching this after the fact what you think of the whole YouTube gaming platform, if it does have potential in the future, and what you think it should be doing to make itself more attractive to everyone, not just one audience or whatnot. But um, even if it stays in the current state that it is forever, I'm glad that it's at least helping the little guy out to get some more recognition because little YouTubers getting recognition and you know getting exposure helps to make everything overall better because it means that there's better content out there and it means that there's more things to you know measure yourself against so you driven to improve and whatnot it's a really good system and um i just hope that if it really does want to grow and be taken seriously that it actually does implement some of those features that we big content creators do need um i don't consider myself big per se but i say big because you know two hundred thousand. i guess that's a lot but um yeah that's my perspective on it but anyways guys i'm gonna talk to you dudes in the next video thank you so much for coming through a little discussion video just about an hour um didn't want to do anything too major today but um we're still going to be having fun i'm probably going to be doing some more gaming streams later on like this cold is going away now and that's why i felt good enough to do this video today so i'm hoping and praying what the fuck is this guy doing bro what the fuck Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.